In these problems, we're dealing with the idea of congruent triangles. And this notation right here says triangle IJK is congruent with triangle NOP. And the only trick here is making sure that you have the right corresponding parts. So in this case, since I comes first and N comes first, I and N are corresponding ang uh, uh, angles. So they're going to have the same measure. Uh, J and O are going to have the same relationship. And K and P, the same relationship. If you were going to draw this, you'd want to start at the same spot, I, J, K, and go in the same direction, N, O, P. And now what you can see is that the segment I, J would correspond to N, O. The segment I, K would correspond to N, P. So let's take a look. It says, uh, if these two triangles are congruent, which of the following is not true? Angle K is congruent to angle P. Well, K and P are corresponding parts here. So that is definitely true. B says IJ is congruent to NO. So here's IJ, here's NO. Those are corresponding parts. So that's definitely true. JK is congruent to OP. So here's JK, here's OP. Corresponding part. So that's true. And then D says angle J is congruent to angle N. So here's angle J and here's angle N. Definitely not corresponding parts. So this is our one that's not true. All right, one more. This one says find the value of x so that triangle ABC is congruent to XYZ. And we have to be a little careful here. Notice ABC and XYZ, so they're not, um, it's like they've been moved around a little bit or flipped over. So you have to be careful, their orientation is different. It says AB equals 6x plus 14. So I'm going to label that here. 6x plus 14, and then BC equals 12, AC equals 3x plus 13, and XZ equals 16, and YZ equals 3x plus 9. Now what we want to do, we're trying to find the value of X, what we want to do is try to set up an equation between corresponding sides here. And we might not need to use all this information. If ABC is congruent to XYZ, the side AB is going to be uh, corresponding to the side XY. That doesn't get us anywhere because we don't know anything about XY. So let's try another side. Um, how about the side BC? So BC is going to correspond to YZ. So BC equals 12 ooh, and YZ equals 3X plus 9. So I could simply set up this the equation 3x plus 9 equals 12, and I'm good to go. I could also have done it this way. Side AC corresponds to side um, XZ. Maybe we'll do that one just for practice in a minute. But let's solve this one first. I'm going to subtract 9. I get 3x equals 3. Divide by 3. We get x equals 1. Let's see if, if it comes out the same way over here. We've got... 3x plus 13 equals, equals 16. So 3x plus 13 equals 16. Subtract 13. 3x equals 3. Again, we get x equals 1. So either pair that you chose would come out with a correct answer. The trick here is making sure you get the corresponding part. So that's a little bit of work with congruent triangles.